Hello Duelists, the Royal Australian here. Next game play for Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution. Rise of the Sacred Beasts. Normal and Reverse. Narration mode enabled. The true leader of the Shadow Riders revealed himself as Kagamaru. The superintendent and founder of Duel Academy. He challenged Jaden to a duel, hoping to use his sacred beast cards to take over the world. I built this school, and now I've returned for my sacred beast cards. What? I'm Kagamaru, master of the Shadow Games. It was I who first sealed the cards here. It was I who gave Shepard the seven keys. Both those keys are worthless, but those keys are worthless, to so unlock the spirit gates. All that's required is dueling energy. Energy that you expended trying to protect those keys. That is why I arranged for all the beasts, all the best duelists, beg your pardon, in the world to come here. I hoped year after year, class after class, that a student would rise with enough dueling spirit to unlock the power of the cards. My Shadow Riders were sent to test you, and only one passed, one with the potential to finally unlock the Sacred Beasts and give me the strength to rule the world. My opponent will be... Jaden Yuki. Excuse me, what? You have proven to be the only duelist with the power to unlock the Sacred Beast cards. And if you refuse, I will see to it that this island and everyone with it seeks to the depths of the ocean deep. You can't do it. I could do anything with these Sacred Beast cards. Let this Shadow Game begin! Sea Lord's Amulet. I'm gonna go second. I think I know how to put him in his place. And that is literally the most broken hand. Hero Electrum. All I need is another 
Wow, I'll be fine. I was not aware the card could destroy uh, trap cards, face down cards. You'll be seeing a lot of this until you see a future fusion in my hand. I think this deck is just referred to as the plain elemental hero deck. And as a result, I need a sixth card. Sucker's got to pay 4,000 life points. Or 2,000. I think he's got to pay 2,100 life points to keep both of those fiend tokens on the field. Please use these cards wisely and remember to open fire on any monster that is Preferably lower the attack of Best in the tricks.
Cleared power. Once per turn, if your opponent controls a monster and you control no monsters, you can special summon a level 4 or lower Gemini monster from your hand. Okay. I'm 100% relying on him opening fire on every monster I have. right now. Earth, fire, wind, water. Then I'll grab Miracle Fusion and use all of them to summon Electrum. Avian, Bastinatrix, Clay Man and Bubble Man. Yeah. Look. Avian, Mysterious Clay Man, Bubble Man. Then I'll sacrifice half my life points, 3300, to bring out to give me a uh, miracle fusion. You've really done it. Say hello. Kagamara is completely screwed. I 
And what's more, this card gains 500 attack per attribute. No, sorry, 300 attack per attribute shared with it. That, me, that my opponent would control. Sorry, mate. You've only made things a little. You've only made things worse for yourself. Discard the avian. Jaden's hero deck is awesome. Impossible. The sacred beast cannot be defeated. What the? Are you okay? It's true. I'm an old man. Wanting simply that every old man wants. To be young again. And harnessing the power of those sacred beast cards was the only way I found it. Found to do it. Yeah? And to take over the world. Can't you forgive it? Can't you forgive a decrepit old soul? Yeah, I guess, but don't you see, old timer? Stealing power for something or someone isn't anything, isn't any way to feel al alive again. You've got to find the strength in yourself. Narration mode continued. Ended. Alright. That took a few goes, but at the end of the day, it worked out. We unlock the duelist, Kagamaru. Uh, or a new deck avatar. Your reverse jewel unlock was Rise of the Sacred Beast. Reverse jewel, obviously. Duh. We got his signature card, Revile, Lord of Phantasms. Revile, Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. And we got uh, his Sacred Beast. No, sorry, not his Sacred Beast deck. Uh, we got that, and we also got uh, the Strike of the Ninja challenge deck.
That's a mirror force. Sorry, Jaden. I'm not fooled. That was a bait card. I need to get this jewel over and done with real fast. And this card could have attacked a third time too. That was over almost instantly in five turns. That's how stupid that's how stupid this um, weapons deck is. It only has twelve monsters in it. I'll give you guys a deck profile. We've got Jaden's Philosopher's Hero deck. I just call it just plain elemental heroes to be honest with you. But uh, this is a deck profile for my weapons deck. It's a 41 card deck. Here are the monsters. Two copies of a Cataville Omen. So that we can grab that final attack orders. Or that um, mirror force whenever we need it. Or if we want to go extreme, we can go final attack orders and wall of disruption. In uh, four turns. We have armed samurai Benkai. Three copies of this guy, because he can attack based for each attack equipped to this card, this card gains one additional attack each battle phase. So not only do you have your normal attack with this card, you can potentially have four equipped spells attached to this monster and he can attack five times. It's that's a ridiculous card, it needs to be put to one. Not only that, if you combine that with this card, it gains 400 additional attack. So, three copies of Command Knight is needed. All warrior monsters you control gain 400 attack. And then we have the additional Go Blindberg. Just for out of peace of mind, we want to special summon something. But before you use this monster, or your, or either one of your three copies of Marauding Captain, you need to make sure you activate your Seal of Ori Calcos beforehand, even if you don't draw it. Um, but anyway, Marauding Captain, unless you can beat the opponent before then, Marauding Captain is needed to bring out your either Command Knight or your Armed Samurai Benkai. Uh, Goblinberg is also needed before you bring out your arms, before you bring out your Command Knight or your armed Samara Benkai. Two copies of Black Pen that inflicts 500 damage to your opponent. Additionally, if the monster ends up destroyed by a card effect, but you want to make sure that you equip none of these to any of your other monsters, unless need be, and or and or if you have Arm Samurai Benkai in the field, equip that to him. Uh, three copies of Gravity Axe Growl that prevents your opponent's monsters from changing their battle positions. Stupid broken. Uh, Mage Power. The equipped monster gains 500 attack for each, 500 attack and defense for each equips for each spell card. What trap card you control? I actually had four of them on the field, including the Silivory Calcos. If you didn't, if you didn't check, just two copies of this card is needed because the card is ultra powerful. Malvolent Nuzzler. The equipped monster gains 700 attack. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can pay 500 life points, place this card on the top of your deck, so you can re recycle it. At the cost of 500 points, three copies of this card. A single monster reborn to revive back a monster, or a single pot of, uh, or a couple of copies. No, sorry. Then you have a couple of copies of Pot of Duality. Major brain fart right there. 
Just two copies of this card is all that's needed. There's no draw power in this deck. Then we have a single copy of Salamander to equip to one of your Command Knights. Then we have two copies of Sword of Deep Seated returns to the top of your deck if it is sent from the field to the graveyard. Forces Malvin Malvolent Nuzzler to miss its timing. So please make sure you have Malvolent Nuzzler on the top of your deck before you uh, put Sword of the Deep Seated back there. Basically prevents you from decking out. Unless your opponent has some Ultra Troll deck. Terraforming. Adds your obvious Seal of Ori Calcos. Then you have your single we not United We Stand for the additional 800 attack and defense for each monster you control. Under the traps. Dust Tornado. Mandatory, you need three copies of that. Single spell and trap negation. Oh, sorry, destruction. And if you know your cards right, you'd target a card that's very um it's very powerful on your opponent's side of the field. That's really affecting your game. Single final attack orders. Preventing opponent's monsters from changing to defense position. Forces them to attack. Their battle positions cannot be changed. Mirror Force. The most powerful trap these days when it comes to opening fire. No entry. When it, um, just changes the battle positions of all monsters of all monsters in attack position to defense position. But you know that is perfectly fine. Wall of, Dis Wall of disruption reduces your monster's attacks by 800. When an opponent's monster declares an attack. But that's for each monster they control, which is hilariously funny. But that's deck profile for weapons. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. All the relevant links to my channels to, to support my channel and of course to follow my system that I use to render this video will be uh, linked in the description below. Some of the parts may not be available. If you guys would like to check me out on social media, there's a link in the description below for my Facebook and Twitter. If you'd like to tip or donate further, there is also a link in the description below for my merch store, which currently has expired merch in it, which you know, can no longer buy for some reason, because I did check. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Play smart, play safe, and I'll catch you on the dual field. Have a good one. Bye-bye.